Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video we will take a look into a platform called Dialogflow CX. This platform is widely used to build agents or broadly known as chatbots and chatbots built on this platform can have you know many different functionalities also they can have AI connection as well. But in this video, we will look into the platform itself and we will see how to create or how to initialize new agent on this platform and we will get familiar with the platform itself. So let's get started. Uh, before I move forward, you need to have or you need to create account on Dialogflow CX. Once you have that, what I'll do is that I'll go to Dialogflow and CX console. Uh, there are two versions of Dialogflow. One is essential version and second is CX version. So in this video, we are going to look into CX. So I'll click on the Dialogflow cloud.google.com and CX. Now there is a strong possibility that if you are coming first time on the platform, you need to create a new project. So I'll create a new project and that will take me to Google uh, Cloud Platform or broadly known as GCP. And I'll say that YouTube CX and I'll hit create. Once the project is created, you can see that the project appears under the all tab. I'll select that project. Once the project is selected, it can ask you to enable the Dialogflow API. We will enable that. Once the process finishes, you'll see a view where you have a button create agent. There is also a button use pre-built agents. So there are some use cases that Dialogflow has considered and they have built, you know, kind of a template on those uh, use cases. But in our case, we will click on create agent. Then there will be two options, auto generate or build your own. We will click on build your own. Here it will ask a name of the agent. Uh, I'll say you tube hyphen demo. Uh, you can you know choose any location nearest to you, but I'll choose global and I'll hit create. You can see here this is the platform of Dialogflow CX agent building. Uh, let's start from the left side uh, that is a build and there is a manage tab uh, from manage you can manage all the things related to the agent and from the build part you can build the agent itself uh, there are flows and there are pages so dialog flow cx works on a finite state machine so you move from one flow to another flow and inside a flow you move from one page to another page also you can you know from one page move to another flow and vice versa you can move anywhere around and manage the conversation on the right hand side there is a test agent agent setting and publish so if you click on test agent you will see a simulator and here if I write hi we will see a response. Hi, how are you doing? And if you look here, the response is coming from default start flow start page, uh, which is this. If I click here and if I click here, you will see there are phrases and one of these phrases will be displayed here. Then there is manage tab. Here we have intents. 
so you can create intents here then entities you can create your entities here then there is a web hook this web hook is used to get access to external world so dialog flow doesn't have the capacity to uh, communicate to the external world but it can enable you to provide a web web hook so that when you you know provide a web hook dialog flow will go to the web hook provide a request data and get the information then there is uh, this route groups that can be you know you can club uh, different routes into the group then there is data store now this data store is a kind of uh, you know ai application this ai application uh, can be directly connected to your agent then there is a generator so again you create a new generator and this is again ai section then there is test cases uh, you create test cases run them to make sure your agent works well then there are validation history conversation history uh, analytics uh, there is you know these few things are for testing and deployment but there is one interesting part is integration if you look into the integration there are you know pre built integrations available for twilio uh, audio codes uh, vox implant avaya uh, that is default or you can say uh, messenger provided by dialogflow itself for facebook messenger workplace lime line i guess uh, google chat and different uh, stuff uh, these uh, these few connection or integrations are not provided by dialogflow but they have community support so this is very interesting in terms of you know how to connect your Uh, agent to the external world and then there is a build so let's do one thing let's set system no match default and system no input default so system no match default means if something doesn't work you know if i write something that the board doesn't understand get a response from this okay say that one more time so you can see that this is a very solid platform on which you can build your agents and in you know upcoming videos on my channel we will look into you know very deep uh, into the platform and we will understand uh, different concepts we will build agent and we will do more stuff uh, on top of dialog flow cx but for this video i guess this is it i hope you have now gained knowledge about the platform and you are now familiar with the platform itself i know that we haven't done anything specific uh, on the platform but the intent of this video is to just explain you the platform itself and how to get started with the platform in upcoming videos on my channel we will learn you know different concepts of dialog flow cx itself and get familiar with the platform uh i guess this is it uh if you like my work if you like the things i upload on youtube please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace